For me, it was an emotional moment because the rebels abducted my younger brother, Godfrey Omoin. This was one of the biggest abductions in the north. 50 children were abducted. And uh, eventually, of course, just to cut the long story short, they killed him. And then there was a big massacre in my village. 300 people killed. My relatives, my friends, guys I went to school with. And when I got the news, I just broke down. So I knew I needed to do something. So I get into my car, driving towards the north, just doing it out of emotion, out of anger, out of so much frustration. So many of the people you know have died and you don't know what else to do. You needed to do something, something. So we kept on driving, 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 and I stopped. And an idea came to my mind. The Keynesian theory, like the quantity, looks at money as a medium of what? Exchange. Put a full stop. However, it emphasizes the role of money as a store of wealth. We have one category of students who are from abductees. We don't call them rebels. These kids are not. They did not join the bush willingly, but were just abducted. And then we have those kids who lost their parents. They were either murdered, or crucified, or burned to death. We have those ones like the mothers were raped. In the process of being raped, they contracted AIDS. So their parents died because of AIDS. Then we have those kids who are really in abject poverty, total poverty. They cannot afford anything. So therefore, the answer is 20. So which means the yellow price was? They are badly off in every aspect, but enough. Thank you very much. You can go for break.
That's me, I don't sleep. 24 hours I keep on thinking how to transform this kid here. My transforming in that person is not an easy thing. There is what we call getting a job and a condition in the job. So here you, you get tired before the actual work. The actual work is teaching, but you first begin by riding. So to and fro, that is 12 every day. I think I ride around 20 kilometers every day. It's very tiresome. God answered him by saying, you are going to have a, a baby boy called Isaac, okay? But we are saying that God's great work and God's power and his ideas, he said, okay, I am going to create creatures in the form of animals and plants. You get me? Up north is a very, very good place, it's a very good school, but uh, there are a number of challenges. Like, for example, we don't have computers here. For us to be up to date, according, uh, we match according to the tune of the current world. It is very, very necessary to be availed with some computers here. It proceeds at a lower rate. It proceeds at a lower rate. By the time I've spent this, we have seen around three of them having textbooks. And in upper classes, four. Proceeds at a lower rate. And how many kids are in the school? The population. The breakdown of the carbohydrate. Roughly 150. Yeah, around 150. If a school had more resources, maybe we talk of computers, textbooks, things of that kind. Learning becomes very, very what? Very, very easy. On the side of the teacher and even a student. But the thing is, it does not look fair for you to just begin teaching and seeing difficulties here and there before you leave the job which you have just acquired. So we as teachers, we make sure that we make these uh, children at school to appear better so that when they move outside, uh, they are really good people. These kids are the future leaders. What we do is what they try to copy. So running away from a problem is never a solution. If you keep running, you get another bigger challenge, which is bigger than the one you have run from. Therefore, we need not to run. We look for ways of overcoming challenges amicably. If I stay here, I forget about the things that happened. I woke up in the morning, it was so cold, very, very cold, because it was raining eh? that morning, it was raining. They came at our place. They took my grandfather and my grandma from the side of my father. 
uh, plus my brothers, two of them. They went with them, and up to now, they are not there. My father was a soldier, and my mom was a businesswoman. On their way coming back, they shoot them on the way, and they were taken to the hospital. They died, so now I'm an orphan, and so I don't know. Those rebels arrived in our place, so they adopted 15 number. Out of that 50, they killed 30. They lied them on the in the road. Then they gave me a gun to shoot that uh, that uh, that that brother of my father. Then if you refuse to kill, like if they for order that you should shoot, then you have refused to shoot with a gun, they know they shoot you. I was feeling a lot of pain, even I was really crying because I could not do anything. They gave me the guns like this when I was crying, the gun has to fall down. Then from there, when they were seeing me crying, then they had to order a, 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 a soldier from among those rebels. They ordered one to come and shoot the the brother of my father. Then they cut him into pieces, small, small pieces. If I think about that, it pains me a lot. So, like me now, even me, I fear them. So, those people should not come back again. That's my view. photo I was coming back home from school but unfortunately I was abducted by the rebel I stayed there for two years and six months it was very difficult for me to stay if you want to hit you need to fight if you if you need to hit you need to fight they force me, if you don't abduct more, if you don't kill them, they kill me, definitely. Yeah, it's, very, it's, it's difficult a bit to talk about. freedom here because uh, if I dance, I sing, I'm happy. I have freedom in Hofnot. Peace is created when you have the correct knowledge. If you don't have knowledge, then you are insecure. And insecure people are the ones who cause trouble. That's why when you empower someone with education, they see a future. And then you are creating hope of a better life. If someone does not have hope for a better life, then you have a problem. I 
wake up in the middle of the night and I'm like, are we going to have a school tomorrow? But I will not even think of failing. I will not even think of stopping. Because if we all had a challenge and stopped, then what would happen? I'm not going to stop. I want to be a journalist or a doctor. I want to be an artist. I want to be a nurse. I want to be an accountant. I want to be a priest or a doctor or a teacher. I want to be a nurse. I want to become an engineer. I want to be a lawyer. I want to be a teacher in the future. I want to be a prime minister. Thank you.